I've got the all new Everett removable snow flap kit version two. And we're gonna install it on this Axis RMK. Let's do it. instructions here and yeah, looks like we got the uh, stainless steel bracket for the snow flat and uh, super light uh, aluminum tunnel storage brackets and some hardware so and here's what here's the tools you're going to need you're going to need a drill with the 3 16 inch drill bit um, then you're going to need a 7 16 wrench or you can use a, a socket wrench and then you might want to use a vice grips to hold the, the, the old um, rivets that you're drilling out. As a reminder, these are the snow flaps that the kit works with. It essentially works with the snow flaps on all Pro Ride and Axis chassis mountain sleds. The first step is to remove the snow flap from the sled. I already went ahead and removed it on this sled, but simply drill out the four rivets holding the flap on and make certain you have a sharp drill bit and don't let the rivet spin. You can also hold the rivets on the back side with the vice grips uh, in case they spin. Use water to cool the rivet if, you get, if it gets hot while drilling. You don't want to melt your snow flap. For the three inch rigid snow flap, uh, use a torque screwdriver to detach the flap from the bumper. The screw on the small metal plate you remove won't be reused. Now let's install the bracket. Notice that there are two holes on each end of the bracket, depending on which snow flap you have. Just so you don't install the new rivets into the wrong holes, put the middle rivets in first, and they line up on, um, for either style of snow flap. Hardware here. Looks like we got a sticker. Tunnel brackets. All right, so let's take let's take the snow flat here and put the bracket on. This orientation like that, and then we'll do the, the middle holes first. Now, as you can see, you put the rivet in from the bracket side through to the snow flap, and then you use the included backing washers and place it on there like that. And then we'll just do a, grab our rivet gun here. Do the first one. There we go. And we'll repeat for the remaining three. This is a fairly simple install. If you do mess up on these rivets, um, they are just simple. Um, rivets, aluminum rivets, um, 3 16 diameter, quarter inch long. Uh, you can pick them up at any hardware store. They're kind of the most common rivets. One more, and remember the backer. There, all done. Now, as you can see, these levers pivot up like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to put it on the back of the tunnel. So now we'll slide it down. We'll kind of go straight down. And actually, before I do that, let me show you something real quick. You see these little features right here on the back of the snow flap? Those actually go into the flange down here at the tunnel. So if we go straight down, and then we're gonna we're gonna hook it on those flanges. If you get kind of shoot right over here, 
and then we pick up on the levers and drop it in and lower the levers down. Now just make sure these levers are fully seated down so that they, the tunnel, the, the flap stays on there nice. And uh, the, the torsion springs will keep, the, keep these from unlatching themselves. Now to unlatch it, you just lift up on the levers and just pull up. Now if you have a stock bumper with the large snow flap, um, that one's going to actually install from coming up rather than out the top. You're actually going to come up this way and install. All right, let's put that back on. And then we'll move on to the tunnel storage brackets. What we want to do is put them like this. They actually go, they move inward. But we want to first, first of all, we got to take our bolts and slide two in each slot. And then we want to take the large included aluminum washers and put those over the top of each bolt. And that spaces the brackets off the tunnel. Then you want to take your retaining cord that it that comes with, and it goes into the slots right there on the, that it's on the bracket. And then that, and then the knot will actually go into the slot of the tunnel. Now this, uh, the length of this has been optimized for both snow flaps. Uh, but if you want to shorten it for more tension, you can just add another knot or remove the knot, whatever you want to do. So once that's in the slot, then we'll put it, put our bolts on, or put it on our bolts, and then use the nylock nuts that were included, and tighten those down with your wrench. Before you fully tighten it up, you can kind of move this around to see where you want to place it. Um, if you do have limited limited space or room, you can put the snow flap over the top of your tail light. And now we'll put the other one on here. We'll also take the cord, hook it into the slot. complete. Now we will take the snow flap and I usually like to put the cord over like that and it helps hook it and leave it like that. And then just hook this underneath, put that way forward, slide this over the, the bump and there you have it. And that's it. Now get out there and make some tracks and see on the mountain.